Hi guys, I'm Finny McBubbles and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to get rich in Rocket League using items you did not even know you had. These items are from the OG crate and different certifications. But just before we get into the video guys, don't forget to enter my 2000 credits giveaway by simply hitting that subscribe button, turning on notifications for a chance to win once I hit 200 subscribers. Anyway, let's get right into the video. Okay, so we're going to start off with the OG crate, so the crate that an item first originated from. So you want to be mainly selling these to collectors who are only really looking for that crate. So take Wonderments for example. They first came from the SSC crate, so the Sa Secret Santa crate. Um, and you can check what crate an item is uh, originated from on R and Inside as well as looking at the price for an item. Um, if it is from the OG crate it will usually cost a little bit more. Um, you'll be able to get a bit more uh, credits out of it. But most people will only be looking for it if they're trying to collect an item um, a lot of people don't, aren't really interested in the crate but the way you check what item what crate your item is from if we head into our garage do our manage inventory and say for example if I try and see what crate my bubbly is from and again I've gone to exotic um, can black market and then we can see straight away bubbly is from the nitro series which is the OG crate um, but unfortunately bubbly there are a lot of OG bubblies um, so it, it won't be worth that much extra maybe for someone who's looking for like a full nitro series set which probably wouldn't happen that often and then you will always find in your inventory there are a couple of items that actually don't show anything so take for example my Imperiator DT5 Windsep Sky Blue. As you can see it's not saying a crate whereas for all these other ones it is. This is because it came from one of the golden eggs. Golden eggs for some reason don't show what a crate it actually came from. I think just because there are too many items listed and so you can't actually see where it is. Um, I think for like item for from crates like Golden Pumpkin 18 it still does but if an item doesn't show anything it tends not to be from the OG crate. Okay, so now the second thing we're going to be looking at is the certification of an item. Now, there are many different certifications that you can find, and the best one being Striker, and I actually have um, one Striker item, unfortunately it is not tradable though. Um, and it is a non-painted Infinium. Now, Striker tends to increase the value quite a lot, actually. Um, so as you can see, Incredible Striker, as I've played, I've, I've used it quite a bit. Um, so Striker tends to increase the value by quite a lot, and even more on a new rare item. So take, for example, the new RSCS drops. For example, from watching an RSCS stream, I managed to get a Burnt Sienna Striker Fennec Eurobands, which was the only one around at this time. I was extremely lucky. And because that it was a Striker and it was extremely rare at that time, I was able to get 10 times the value of what it was on R and Insider purely because it was certified striker. Now other good certifications to sort of look out for um, are going to be Tactician, Sweeper and Scorer. These are your sort of tier 2 slash tier 3 kind of certifications, the sort of second best. Um, the, these ones are quite good, these ones increase the value as well by quite a bit actually. Um, you can, like for most items it will probably increase by maybe times 1.5 maybe 2 um, depending on the item um, at the moment so if you look at um, more expensive items it will increase the value by more but if you look at a uh, less expensive item certifications really don't matter as much but I think if you see a couple of people selling a striker item for a little bit above uh, maximum value and you think you can actually get a good deal for it I'd recommend you to take that offer up however always have it in your mind certificate, cer cer certificated items are impossible to sell unless you find someone straight away who's going for a set and for trying to find people on set I recommend using Reddit our really ex uh, Rocket League Exchange is a really good tool just to use because a lot of people go for sets there um, however 
certified items are very very hard to sell so always keep that in mind before buying up a bunch of certified items that they are going to be very hard to sell now along with these sort of better certified items there are obviously some not very good ones these ones include sort of a aviator show off those kind of ones the ones that you can immediately tell aren't that good and, the, and you can sort of tell these because um, in a game you won't get these a lot so for example um, aviator is an aerial goal you won't be scoring that many of them unless of course you're a very good player um, however if you look at striker that's just shots purely on goal which is which you will get so many of tactician sent uh, center balls um, sweeper clears and scorer actual goals these ones are just so, so much more common which is why they're worth so much more Okay, so now from watching this video, I'll probably have a look at some of your blueprints for these sort of items. There are some people who collect a lot of blueprints that are from the OG crate. Unfortunately, I don't actually have any to show you as I have sold all of my items. But say, for example, you have a Zomba blueprint that is from the OG crate. It'll be worth that little bit more. Um, and that's for pretty much any item. There are people who go around trying to buy uh, seasonal and OG crate items from blueprints just because they value them a little bit more. Um, but this is going to be the end of the video today, guys. Um, I really hope this video will sort of help you uh, gain a little bit more money when selling a certified item, OG item. Maybe even find you that little gem that is hiding away in your inventory that you never even knew you had. But... And please enter the giveaway, hit like, hit that like button if you have enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.